Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, which means one of the Saqqara meal drops, Tuesdays and Fridays. And here we go for dinner tonight. We got a sweet beet and toasted cashew medley uh, right here. You got some roasted pear pancakes, coconut lime ceviche stuff, and Saqqara burger, mushroom pasta, inner fire bowl. And then we got here for breakfast some ro rose donut. And whatever else here. Yeah, it looks good though. Looks good as always. And it tastes good. Yeah, for those of you that are interested in, you know, uh, trying out some plant-based meals by gourmet chefs, uh, you can check out Saqqara. We got a promo code for you if you want to save like 20 bucks or something. Now, I'm going to warn you ahead of time. It ain't cheap, right? This isn't, uh, this isn't like Taco Bell type stuff. This is going to cost you, I think, roughly about 70 bucks a day for, you know, for a full like breakfast, lunch, dinner type thing. So, yeah, I mean, the ingredients are very, are like very super foodie, if you will. So anyway, we are going to put this food away, get the day started. We've got day two of the Omaha 8 or better, fresh and ready to go. That's sorry, as carefully as anyone All can. right, all right, all right. Driving video. And I can't speak to you. Pause these boys, listen to some 32 Thoughts with American Friedman. My hockey stuff, getting my stats up. So today we were playing Omaha 8, as I said. Yesterday was a table where I knew one player basically and the rest was kind of new to me. Today, we know several of the players and it's actually interesting. You got Chad E, who um, plays a different brand of Omaha 8. I think a, guy, a lot of guys needle him or make fun of him, whatever, but he seems to be pretty damn good. He's got a big stack and he plays um, more than a few hands, right? So hopefully we can get it in good against Mr. Chad E. Um, the one other player at the table that's interesting to me is on my left is Sean Deeb. And Sean Deeb is a player who is probably my biggest uh, threat when it comes to player of the year. So monitoring how he's doing is, is, you know, sort of a good barometer in terms of like my player of the year. Obviously other people are gonna have a chance, but Sean grinds all the events. It's something that he tries to win as well as you know, yours truly. So um, anyway, he's on my left. And uh, we got a couple other players who like Yuri, you got Yuri here. And I don't, I know Yuri is like, freaking superstar online player you know i think he's ranked number one on pocket fives speaking of pocket fives hey if you bought a piece uh, of the omaha we're doing pretty good um uh, but yeah he's i don't know if he's an omaha eight player i don't know how much experience he has there i guess we'll find out shirley rosario played with her long time she's she's been around i mean not to age her or anything like that but like yeah i played with her a decent amount who else we got and then I got Roland is Roland. Roland is like the cash machine at the World Series of Poker. That's what the, the dude just cashes, you know? We got busted in the same hand together in the 25K horse. He's coming up 50. Oddly enough, you know, there's not a ton of chips at my table. Chad has a bunch, 280. And then John Zaliski and I both have about 130. So not that that matters. Like in No Limit Hold'em, it matters. You know, oh, look at these stack sizes. Um, unless it's the bubble, you know, where in Omaha 8, where like, I see him would play a role. Doesn't really matter. Stack sizes do not matter. Okay, all stacks matter, but stack sizes do. Well, I don't know what I'm where I'm going with that. What am I doing? What am I doing? Right? I made a promise to you all on day one. I'm not doing anything like that. No, just saying. You know, all, all stacks matter. <laughs> oh no! What did I do? Screwed up. Anyway, all right. So we are on the drive-in. It is 1:15 right now. We'll get there for about. 130, 145, chilling the trailer for a minute. And then we restart at two o'clock. I am a little bit bummed, frankly, to not be able to play the uh, the heads up. I really wanted to play that, but I have to play the 10K Omaha. Hey, there's no way I'm skipping that one. So, but hey, you know, I don't know how many, how many they'll get, but it's unfortunate. Scheduling is tough at the World Series Poker. You got so many different events, so many different things people want to play, and you got to put it somewhere. So, such is life. Anyway, let's do this. There is a screen name on WSOP, and the screen name is I Hate Chad E. That is Chad E. <laughs> this is the guy we talked about in, uh, in the drive-in video who uh, likes to see the plot. Yeah. But he's out of this hand somehow. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We've got a mask up. We're making a move. So... We are in a different section today. 
We are across the way from here and it's a different structure for the Omaha 8. It is 90 minute levels, so we have a 10 minute break at the end of each level rather than the, you know, 15. So that's gonna make it a little more difficult to get to the trailer and back, but we can make it work. Um, I got 101,000 from my 127. I didn't play I, a single hand in the first 30 minutes. I played very few hands overall. Played solid, good poker. I folded one hand that I would have scooped, but it's still a fold. I had ace, king, queen, four with like three diamonds in my hand. I got raised and I folded. I would have made like nut, <laughs> nut flush. But, you know, hey, it's me. What's up, people? But yeah, so we're gonna run to the trailer real quick, ingest some food, and then uh, head right back and uh, keep it rolling. Yeah. All right, we need, we need to hear, explain umbrellas. Explain umbrellas. What's the, yeah, what's the significance here? You got umbrellas on your arm. I like to like, here. I like to bring like uh, my interpretation of art into like Thank the you. environments that that I find myself in, I think. That's pretty much Damn, it. Damn, that's some deep yeah. ass shit right there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's, that's deep. deep. That's deep deeper guy. than I expected. That's no, actually, I should have expected that from Brandon Shack yeah. Harris. I appreciate deep. it. Deep, yeah. Just like you do with the, with, the, with the vlog, you know what I mean? My artistic yeah. expression. Love it. Here we go, there's my stack. Look how artistic. I'm gonna NFT this, sell it for 1.5 million. Look at that, pretty yeah. picture. Square on the, square on the upper left hand corner. It's, it's, you know, so here's the thing, you can play well, but if you don't win any hands, you eventually your chips run out. That's what happened to me. I didn't win any pods. I just didn't win any hands. Ace, two's four, five. I mean, whatever. We're going to want ace, two's four, five, double suited. Flop. Nut low draw, straight draw, flush draw. Dick in hand. I don't know, like the last three, four hands, and I had queens and nines with ace, two's queen, nine. The guy made a king, ten straight. And then just now I had the low with, uh, with trip nines. And he makes the flush with the better low. Blah, blah, blah. Such is life. So now I've got some free time here because we're not jumping into that limit hold'em just yet. I can't believe I'm out. Really, yes, how did I, I didn't win any hands. I just don't, I can't, I didn't think I win a hand today. Didn't win any hands, bam. All right, well, it's early in the series. Hopefully we get uh, some of the ugly luck out of the way early and then we run real good from here. Got limit hold'em, I've won two of these tournaments in my lifetime. $1,500 buy-in is this one. I believe there is a I won like a 2K and a 2K, I think. This one's a 1500, so close enough. So we'll jump into that, but again, sticking with the plan, $1,500 buy-in, take our time, relax in the trailer, watch some hockey, read up, some, some Dom LeCision, the athletic season preview write-ups, which is always fun. And uh, yeah, check in in a bit. All right, we got a healthy nap in. It is 7, 11 p.m. Fantastic, we did good. Our plan is to register late, get some sleep. We did that. And now I'm gonna show you how easy it is on your phone to register for the event. All right, so you see here, I go to the Bravo app. All the events show up. We're just gonna click register now, right? And then that's it, basically. And then you fill out the rest. I got my T, what do you call it? My TBC. So I got money in there, what does it say? 118,000, yeah, yeah. 118,000 I loaded in the account when I got here. So you can't rob me for anything because there's nothing in my... I don't have any money on me. So don't be stupid and try to rob me and waste waste your time because you're not going to get nothing. The money is already in here. And boom, voila, just like that. Res uh, or, yeah, registered. <laughs> so now that we're registered, we're going to go with coffee number two here with my trusty Keurig, yada, yada. And then it's as simple as this. We walk over to a fast track machine. You saw how we do. We swipe the card. Out come the tickets and we go to our seat. Don't have to deal with no cashiers, no lines. It's beautiful. If you're going to play the World Series of Poker, I promise you, it's worth the time to set this up with your Bravo account. This shirt, by the way, I got a whole bunch of these. I don't know if you saw, but like, if you want these shirts or cool shirts like Karate Kid, Rocky, Muhammad Ali, Bloodsport, Cobra Kai, you can check them out at uh, contendersclothing.com. Use promo code KIDPOKER20 and you save yourself 20% off on cool stuff i wear their underwear exclusively i won't show you right now because you know i would I, I don't care personally but people are like oh big deal i never understood that too like when you think about 
you go to like these clubs, women are in bikinis, every, like bikinis, we show nothing, right? But the idea of being in bra and panties outside, oh, you saw me in my bra and panties. The bikinis, just a freaking string bikini, I saw everything. How is the, how is the bra and panties so faux pas, but all of a sudden bikinis are fine. I'm fine with bikinis, I'm fine with bras and panties. You do you, how about that? Anyways, off to play Limit Hold'em. Sita, this is it. Limit Hold'em, nine-handed poker. The gentleman here. What are you drinking over there? Anything good? Well, like I, I was drinking the Coors Light, but it's empty. Yeah. How many of you had? Uh, like seven. I was going to say at least six or seven. I can oh, tell. Yeah. <laughs> Do you notice a little more slur comes out after about four or five? I mean, I... I mean, I'm like 120 pounds. I mean. Yeah, <laughs> that'll do it, right? Look who we got! That guy! I know him, David Baker. Limit hold him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking go all in against him. I don't care. Limit, so we're playing limit hold him. means you got two choices. So you can't go broke on one hand. Check, right? bet, raise, that's it. And minimum? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Stick, you could call? Ah, yeah. That's not what the kids say. All right. And this here is Sam. Sam's gonna be our dealer. This here's yeah, McCall. Like, no, All right. Funny. Kids, I don't know that. Uh, this was before your time, but Limit Hold'em was the game, okay? It's just been a while since I played. Look how many people at this table. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten handed. Limit Hold'em, no Annie. Limit. Limit Hold'em. I used to love this game. And these days, it's, you know. All right, Alan, what's bothering you today? You're the last uh, person you have not paid your 1000 for the last long. And this is bothering you? Not really, but... Well, I what mean, else you got? You got some? What, no, what's been, what's been upsetting you? I this limit hold them And what, what, how was the structure? I'm not going to comment on that because I don't want to You can't comment? No. Well, who's going to give you trouble? David Baker. David Baker would give you trouble? Yeah. Well, what, what was your issue with the structure? David Baker's right here. Uh, Tell the people. He managed to do, do something bad. I'm not going to discuss it. <laughs> <laughs> you okay, Alan? too slow for him. Alan, you okay? Oh, man. Poor Alan. Oh, my God. Like what, what is it, 800 more? 800 more. I call. No, we, I'll, huh? tell you, I'll tell you what's wrong, all right? Okay, okay. Tell me what's wrong. Literally, when we came back from the last break, there wasn't one person at our table with less than 20,000. Okay. So we played six levels, and nobody lost any chips. So it's too so, slow? Yes. Wow! I've never heard Alan Kessler say a structure is too slow. That's fantastic. All right, but I don't want to get in trouble with Jack or with David. You're Baker. fine. Yeah. Nobody's nobody's gonna see this. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> as long as you give me my He's thousand. Me this okay, I'll pay you. All right, I gotta get a thousand bucks to give Alan. You're never supposed to fold when a man's had eight to nine Coronas, but I did. I folded. I and that's like why. Seven, bro. That's why I'm all in now, bro. We're all in. And uh, what's the fun? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, that was a just annoying freaking day. <laughs> I didn't win any hands to the Omaha. I lost a whole bunch. Hi, how you doing? I lost a whole bunch in here. Ace, king, ace, king, ace, king. Then king, queen of clubs. I had it three times. Under the gun raised. I just flatted in the two hole with king, queen of clubs. Now in limit hold, you're supposed to three better fold. But I think like in tournaments, you can make adjustments, which I do here. And I call with the king, queen of clubs. It plays pretty well multi-way. And the flop's ace, 10, six, I peel. Guy bets, I call with one club, turns to nine of clubs. He bets, I call, the guy raise, re raise, I call, I miss, blah, dick. And then uh, this guy just let it just now, my drunk friend, a new drunk friend. <laughs> he raised in the cutoff. I three bet with King 10 in the small. And he calls. And the flop's five, five, five deuce twos, I bet, he calls. Turns a five, so the board is five, five deuce twos. I bet again, he calls. River's a three. So I check, give up, he bets, I fold, the king high. He shows me, queen 10 off suit. <laughs> oh shit. So he bluffed, oh well. All right, that's the end of this one. Plan to, plan now is, this is important. You wanna stay married, you gotta do things with the wifey, right? So I'm gonna head home right now and we're gonna watch the final episode of Bachelor in Paradise and see, will they get engaged? Will they split up? Will they leave the island together? Um, blah, 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 all right? Let's watch the drama. And then tomorrow's an interesting day, okay? Have not completely decided, but it looks like what I'll do is play maybe my only 11 a.m. event. Not at 11 a.m., mind you. Uh, late, right? Because probably around three o'clock, late reg that. It's a $3,000 no limit hold'em freeze out. 
And then the, the 3 p.m. tournament, I think, is a $1,500 seven card stud, which we would late reg anyways. So that likely is the plan. We're gonna probably play the no limit first, see how that goes, take it from there. If it doesn't go well, we will jump into the stud. So today was an annoying day. It was very difficult, not gonna lie, mentally to play limit hold'em 10 handed, you know, just in the middle of the World Series. We're not even the middle, early. Like when you're playing a lot of big events, 25Ks and things like that. But I did my best, kind of. Well, no, I, I don't think I did my best. I probably played a little sloppy. But uh, it's okay. It's going to happen, you know? Six weeks. Um, like I said, I'm going to focus the majority of my mental energy on the big dogs, the big ones. And uh, there's nothing really big coming up for a couple days. The next Limit Hold'em is a 10K. We'll be ready for that one. On time registration. Peace. Hey, honey, you excited? It's that time. Captain, film me right away. Of course. Just got home. Okay. Okay, so ready. Bachelor in Paradise finale. Who's going home together? Three hours. Is it a three hour finale? Okay, yeah. good thing I busted early then. Yay! Yeah, you wouldn't be able to make it. No. All right. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, boys. You got your treats. We're good. Let's do it. The bad news, folks. Well, we got bad news. Not for you, but for us. This happened last week, too. Okay? I don't get it. It's preseason. Preseason. I'm a Golden Knights fan. All is good. What they're doing, because they're putting the damn preseason game on. They freaking put Bachelor in Paradise at 1 o'clock in the morning. No! It's ridiculous. What is going on? Now we have to figure out with the 87 different streaming devices that we have, uh, whether or not we can find a way to watch it. Oh, my God. What a disaster. Disaster. Anyways, it's just one of those days, huh? One of those days. We will uh, get some sleep, hopefully find a way to watch this, and see you all Manana for the potential, uh, well, no, we, we decided. 3K, no one hold them, late reg, that's the plan. I can't believe they're doing this to us. Me either, I'm looking right now. What is their problem? It's so I stupid. A preseason? Nobody cares. All right, we out. Peace. Success. Amazon Prime. Thank you very much. Yay. Yay. I did it. Woo, I feel so smart.